hello everyone so I already have my base on like you can see because I'm doing a first impression on my new YSL foundation which has miraculously disappeared where the heck is it there's the box honestly what the heck here it is so yeah um if it's already up I will link it below okay all my glow foundation so far I'm blown away but we'll see how it goes throughout the end of the day I'm a rapper I'm a poet and I know it. Anyways, so yeah, I also just applied my eyebrows. That's all I've got on. We're going to do the eye makeup and face makeup and lip makeup together. And I'm going to be using this on my eyes today, the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I really want to review it for you guys because as you guys know, these palettes are literally like $8,000 each. Not literally, but might as well be. They're so expensive. They're definitely investment pieces. So I want to try it out and let you guys know what I think of it. I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows like pretty much all the time so I'm probably gonna like it but we'll see these colors definitely like out of every single palette that Natasha Denona has brought out like these these look so pretty and I love them because they're like warm but they're not like red there's so many like warm palettes lately but they're all just like red this is a little bit different so we're gonna be trying it out and I also love how there's like a pop of green as well um, and some shimmers, mattes. Like, I just really love the way this looks. So, let's just dive in. I'm going to start with priming my eyelids. I've got, like, freaking concealer piling up on them at the moment. I'm going to use the NARS eyeshadow base. This is the shade medium. I love bases that have a little bit of a tint to them. Oh my god, I love this song. Old school Skrillex. Sorry. I'm just using a flat eye brush to blend this out all over my eyelid because I can't find my other brush I normally use. This works amazing anyway. On my eyebrows today, I do have my Benefit Cabral and Urban Decay Brow Tamer on top of that. So to start off my look, I'm going to take a round eye brush. I'm just going to wipe off any excess product. It's like a little bit dirty, but hey. So it's a nice big round fluffy brush. And what colors do I want to I think I want to take this one. It's kind of like a mustard brown. Um, a very yellow based brown, which is really pretty actually. I'm just going to first tap that straight into the crease area on top of the base primer. I was going to say like primer or something. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. And then once the product's there, I'm just going to give it a good buff. This brush here really buffs in color and makes it like super soft looking. This transition shade is just such a nice undertone. It like, I don't know, I feel like it just looks really nice with a tan. It's just very like, it's weird, but it's very bronzy-ish. I don't know if that makes any sense it's like matte and it's not bronze but it, I don't know it's nice I'm just using a little bit of it underneath my lash line down the bottom also and now I'm going to take a firm blender brush and the color right on top of it which is like that mustard color um I'm all about these kind of colors lately so I'm excited there's a little bit of powderiness on the eyeshadows but I haven't had any fallout so far um I've just been like tapping my brush off I'm just gonna add more of this into the crease it's a little bit darker than the previous color well not even darker but maybe like brighter Guys, if you love like emo music, <laughs> like me, um, you need to listen to Times Two by Marshmallow. The song, Slushy and Marshmallow. I'm still like iffy about this NARS primer. I don't know if it's as good as my Smashbox one and my um, Benefit one. I just feel like it's a little bit like more dry and crusty. I'm just going to use a little bit of this color. I feel like this color and this color are very similar. This one's a little bit lighter. Um, not as yellow undertone, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just like very similar to having the same color, you know? I'm using a fluffy blender brush now. I'm just kind of going over the edges. And there are some absolutely stunning colors like this rich as chocolate brown. I kind of want to use green. I just don't know. I'll show you the lip color I'm planning on using today. It's new. This is by YSL and it's the shade 103 of the Metallics something couture. And it's just like a rich bronze shade. Should I just put this on right now so we can kind of like, you know, match it all? I just want to zoom out a little. I usually go for metallics, but I'm feeling adventurous today. This is a very light formula. It feels like water. I feel like you need to layer this because it's not sheer, but it kind of is. I don't know how to describe it. We have baby um, birds in our roof at the moment, but I won't let Hamish get rid of them yet, like get rid of the nest. Because I don't want like any of the birds to get confused or like die or anything. So like we've just got birds in our roof and they're really noisy and chirpy. And I'm hoping they don't ruin my roof because it could be expensive. But I also don't want to like ruin their lives. So I'm just letting them do it. 
<sighs> I can like hear them chirping away in the background right now. Okay, I need to clean up the edges using some <sighs> concealer. One of the baby birds fell out of the nest. Um, a couple of weeks ago when I was overseas and Hamish messaged me he's like what do I do so he was like looking after it and he rang up like the messy university hospital and stuff and asked for some advice and they said that it often happens and just to like keep an eye on the bird and make sure like no animals or predators get to it okay cats we've got a couple of cats in our neighborhood and it'll just kind of like hover around like the area it dropped and then eventually it'll learn to fly properly um, and it did it got away it's fine so that was good. Hamish was like panicking. He's like, oh no. <laughs> so to be quite honest, I actually really like this lip color. Like I say, I don't always like metallic lip colors, but this one I think is really pretty. I think it's because it's like a neutral color. I don't know. I like it. Anyways, let's move along with the eye makeup. So what do I do to match this? I don't think the greens are going to look any good. I don't know about gold. Maybe even like this color with like the really dark chocolate color. And maybe a little bit of bronze or something. I don't know. This is a really good Christmas look too. I'm going to pick on a little bit of this dark brown shade. I'm going to use a slim crease brush. This one right here. This one there, out of V. My stomach is making horrendous noises, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Sometimes, like, when I edit my videos and stuff, you can, like, hear it. And I'm, like, very embarrassed. And then once I've kind of blended it a little bit, I'm going to go back in with my firm blender brush and just do the rest of the edges. And then I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush. I'm going to try this color dry first. This is more of just a shimmer, no metallic. Like this one's way more metallic and shimmery than this one. So we're just going to take it dry and see how it looks. But I might wet it to get a more metallic finish. And I'm going to pat that right in between like my inner corner and that dark brown we just used. Oh, that's so nice. It's just a really deep buttery bronzer shade and it just blends into that dark color so nicely. I'm just overlapping it a little bit. This is very glam makeup like friggin red carpet or something. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the dark brown, just blend those colors together again. I have very minimal fallout. There's like two little specks, so I'm very impressed. And then on the inner corner, I want to do some kind of brighter, more metallic shade. Maybe we'll just go straight in with that one underneath because it just looks so nice. It's like a very vibrant, bright bronze. I'm using a dense shadow brush for this one. So just dry once again. Oh my god, my stomach needs to shut the heck up. That's how it looks dry. I'm gonna wet it and do another layer just to see how it compares. Because usually these ones wet look incredible. Yeah, that's just so nice. I love that transition of different colors. It's so pretty. Just adding a little bit of the warmer brown just like in between as well and on top just to kind of tie it all together. Just a little bit. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this color just here once again and just make underneath a little bit more intense. Okay, so I did my mascara and liner off camera. I did a big fierce wing, which I think came out really well. So I used the Tartist one, the double ended. And then my mascara, I used one coat of the Scandalize Wild Wings by Rimmel. Um, so yeah, that is what I have on so far. But I am gonna just add a pair of false lashes and I'm gonna be using the Soulmate. I've used these, I think, five times now. Um, they're getting a little bit haggard but once they're on, you won't be able to tell. So I just like to pop those right on top. These are pretty easy to apply because they've got a nice thin lash band. You can see once they're on, they look so perfect. So, I mean, they're not in terrible condition. That's how they're looking. But, you know, once they're on, they look so freaking pretty. These are definitely one of my favorite pairs of lashes. And then these are coming out with Exo Beauty Soon. You can apply your lashes with this too, which I will sometimes do, but I especially love just using this angular side just to pinch the falsies with my natural lashes and make them look like so much more natural because like there's no separation or gaps, you know? I think that's the most telltale sign of false lashes is when people put them on and they don't squeeze them together and you can almost see like a double layered effect between the natural lash and the false lash. You can see like a little gap in between as well. Okay, so that is the eye makeup done. Oh, I love these falsies so much. They're like natural-ish but still long and thick. Do you know what I mean? Like they just look like everyday glam. So now let's do a little bit of contouring because I feel like a little potato face. I have my favorite right here. This is the Makeup Obsession um, in Light Contour Powder and I'm gonna use it on my domed contour brush, which is a nice easy to use size. It's quite small so it just fits perfectly. 
Let me know in the comments if you have bought this since I've recommended it. Please let me know what you think. And then for a little bit of bronzer, which one should we use? I might use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is the matte one. I'm going to use a Shimmer Tulip brush, which is like a little tapered brush. And just apply this like on my actual cheek. Oh, that tastes good. It like floated into my mouth. <laughs> Crap, look how many freckles I have on my arms. Where did they come from? I must have got some sun recently. My face and my shoulders, they freckle up so quick. Whereas like nowhere else really does. I don't really get many on my chest. Just like here and like my nose area and on my forehead. That's like the main areas I get them. I don't really get them on my like body, on my legs, like nothing like that. It's so strange. Okay, now the last step is blush. And highlight honestly this tastes so good I can I don't know why but I guess when I'm flicking it around it's like floating like the little pigments are floating oh my god it tastes nice <laughs> actually first I'm just going to take my little brow contour pro using the definer shade I like to use this on my one line I wish I did this as a Christmas look I mean I still can just pretend like this was intended to be for Christmas but is this not the most warm cozy Christmas makeup I don't know but I'm feeling festive I don't know about you like just chuck on some candy cane earrings <laughs> which these earrings have foundation on them right now good one I want to use a nice warm blush I'm pretty sure this is MAC I think style is it MAC I don't know just a little bit of this just like a nice peach you could do any peach doesn't have to be this one it's a little bit over the cheek just using the same shimmer tulip brush oh that's so nice i love my makeup today oh my god best feeling and then let's use one of the christmas collection stila highlighters do i use gold i feel like gold makes sense right okay so this is at mecca it's limited edition i believe i'm gonna use the shade santorini sunset it's the heaven's dew palette shine bright so pretty i really like these highlighters they're really good for just like it's almost like a top coat it's not really like a shimmer it's almost like a wet look on top so i'm gonna use my detail face brush and just apply a coat on my cheekbone and you'll see what I mean like it kind of looks like those Natasha Denona highlighters that are just like a top coat what are they called like the diamond dust or something so pretty it is quite shimmery though but it's so pretty because it just like shines it's not just the shimmer like it literally shines it looks like I don't even know how to describe it it's almost like a creamy finish like when you touch them it's almost like yeah they kind of melt into your skin and like transform into like a powder it's like Kind of like a clay. I don't even know how to describe it, but I really like them. I'm gonna use a little bit on the tip of my finger for my nose. I'm just gonna use the tiniest about just up on top of my eyebrows. Okay, so let me just go and do my hair. I'm just gonna blow dry. It should be pretty much dry anyway. Let's have a look. Oh, not really. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go dry off my hair a little and be right back and I'll show you how it looks. Done. <laughs> okay, so my hair is done. I blow dried like I hate it when you blow dry bits crooked and then it, uh, it won't sit right. I'm just going to use a little bit of my Devine's oil and put that through my lens. I use like a half pump. It goes real far and I don't want my hair to go like oily. So I just kind of like go like this and put it mid lengths and ends, especially the ends. It smells divine, like so good. And then the very leftovers, like when my hands are like just a little bit slick. I just put it through my front because it's like the only part of my hair that goes frizzy. So I think I'm loving my new hair at this stage. At first it took me like a week to adjust to it because it was such a big change. Like I've had super blonde hair. Like I said something like two years of my hair video. But I reckon it's been more like since 2000, 2000, end of 2012 since I've had hair as dark as this, even though it's not super dark, but you know what I mean? It's still quite blonde at the ends and stuff, but yeah. And today I washed it with a little bit of rosewood shampoo and rose gold shampoo by De Lorenzo, I think it is. And that's how I got it into this like kind of pinkish purplish hue. So yeah. That's it. So that is all of my makeup done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to press the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Comment below something cute so I can reply. I've been reading all of my comments. And I often read them while I am gaming. Because I sit next to my like beauty computer while I'm gaming. So I'll usually like have all my comments up. And just reply to them while I'm, you know, in between games and stuff. And I also read them while I'm at the gym. So yeah, make sure you leave me something cute to read. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.